Queen Elizabeth, furious over Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's Barbados takeover, the 20th century has seen once mighty British Empire progressively hand power back to the countries it conquered. Barbados recently shirked imperial power when it removed Queen Elizabeth as the head of state. One tabloid reports that the country is going to exchange one royal for another. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are allegedly the new rulers of Barbados. The secret Sussex takeover, Women's Day reports, the Queen is furious over Meghan and Harry's shock takeover of Barbados. The tabloid says that losing Barbados was a real blow for the Queen and Harry is firmly in her cross hairs. The tabloid claimed that Prince Harry was revered by the country, so the Queen blames his royal exit for the weakening of the Commonwealth. Her Majesty is completely petrified that other territories, including Australia and Jamaica, will follow suit. Our concern is that if things keep up like this, Prince William and Prince George won't have many realms to inherit. A source says that Prince Harry didn't intend for this to happen, but the article concludes by saying his exit is almost certainly part of the reason the royals are already losing ground. Where is the secret plan? The headline is misleading as the article is not about a takeover at all. Even more egregious is the subheading which promises to take the reader inside the Sussex's secret plan to rule Barbados in big bold letters. There is no way to misconstrue that the article should be about a secret takeover. The article itself is just about the Queen blaming Prince Harry for the loss of Barbados, but there is nothing in it about Prince Harry taking over or any secret plan whatsoever. Ousting of Queen had nothing to do with Prince Harry. Understanding why Barbados will remove the Queen as the head of state would require too much history for Gossip Corp to get into. In short, though, the Governor-General of the island said this is done in part to leave our colonial past behind. Barbados wants to become a completely sovereign republic without British interference for the first time since 1625. Prince Harry indeed visited Barbados, but so as pretty much every royal family member at this point. The situation has nothing to do with Meghan Markle and everything to do with Barbados. This story cannot be taken seriously and Gossip Corp is dismissing it as a bogus bait and switch. Just the latest outrage over Meghan Markle. This tabloid blames Meghan Markle and Prince Harry for just about everything it can think of it. It claims that the Netflix production deal the two inked was made to threaten the royal family. She somehow made Princess Patrice weep on her wedding day despite not being present. Then there was a especially silly story about Markle banning Middleton from seeing her as of yet born second child. No pregnancy was ever announced, but Women's Day simply continues to stir the pot. This tabloid will take over whatever role needs out there and use it to manufacture conflict with the Sussexes. Meghan Markle's subtle signs of anger and defensiveness in latest interview. Body language expert Judy James has pointed out subtle clues she thinks shows the Duchess was bewildered and angry during her latest interview as part of the most powerful women's summit. Meghan Markle went on the defensive and showed signs of bewilderment and anger in her latest interview. Body language expert has claimed the Duchess took part in sit-down talk with Fortune editor Alan McClurt during Tuesday's most powerful women's summit, where she insisted she's not controversial. The 39-year-old came under fire last week along with her husband, Prince Harry, for a video where the pair urged Americans to vote. But Meghan claimed what ends up being inflammatory is people's interpretation during the chat, which took place with the Duchess sat on the sofa with her sleeves rolled up. Body language expert Judy James has now claimed that Meghan put on a slightly defensive display with a misunderstood tone. The Mirror reports, Miss James said there were some subtle indicators that the Duchess of Sussex wanted to portray an authentic tone. She explained Meghan plays out on a sofa with her shirt sleeves rolled up to suggest she wants to get down to business. As she says, be authentic here. The displaying and pit bearing looks confident and gently powerful as does the preen gesture with her hair while the very subtle lower jaw jut and a few sharp accelerated blinks hint at some anger although her tone overall signals bewilderment from a woman who tells us she has not been controversial in what she says in the past. Megan emphasizes the emotion side again with the mention of tears as she looks away dramatically to consider her thoughts as she speaks. It is the shaking of her head that suggests a sense of bewilderment or disbelief. Speaking from Sussex's new £11 million mention, Megan said that the royal couple were throwing themselves into tackling toxic online behaviour. She said it is not sustainable to allow bullying and misinformation to spread online and must be dealt with. The couple had previously called on advertisers to boycott social media platforms such as Facebook, which have allowed hate speech in the past, Megan said. If that changes that are being made are in fact made it is good for everyone and facebook included an adorable 
Cocker Spaniel has been dubbed Britain's most destructive pooch after he gave his owners his new cream pocket.